Well, I was at, uh, guess what, Harbor Freight once again. Some of you have seen my video of um, the uh, sheet metal cutter. Works really well. Um, we ended up having a bunch of um, stainless steel tabletops. Uh, they're over here. I cut all the uh, sides off of them so we have some flat sheets. Um, and the one thing I did already was uh, make a, um, a cover here for my workbench. Um, but we have another small project coming up that uh, required that not only can I cut the sheet metal, the stainless steel sheet metal, but that I can also bend it. And we're going to have to make a whole bunch of these kinds of things. And we did this by hand. Um, and it's a lot of work. And you got to have the right tools to do that. This is going to be a corner cover for, um, once again, a commercial food location uh, that has a, a, um, a tile a base uh, around the uh, walls. And when they push their carts and stuff through, it's breaking up the tile on the corner. So we need to put in uh, some corner savers so they can bang on these instead of um, on the ceramic tile. But to do that efficiently, um, we decided that not, not only will we take the pieces here, because um, we're going to have quite a few of them, uh, and not try to bend them, by hand. It's a really a lot of work. We're just going to bite the bullet and get ourselves a, a break. Actually, I also bought another pair of shears because we're going to be cutting a lot of this stainless steel. So we went to uh, Harbor Freight once again. We spent a lot of time down there and we got the 30 inch bending break. Um, I watched a bunch of videos as probably you have too. Um, and it appears that this will probably do what we need to do. Um, bend a long piece um, but we're probably going to have to do some modifications on it I'll go into that later on when we try it out for the first time so I'm going to open this up uh, and see if it's in decent condition because it's very heavy uh, and it's already broken out of the bottom of the box so I, I don't know if there's been any damage to it I guess we're going to find out so kind of doing the unboxing phase only to make sure that uh, it hasn't been damaged unboxing I'm not sure why a lot of people show an unboxing and that's it uh, you just basically open the box huh? so let's see what we have here mm, we have instructions too Warning to avoid danger of suffocation. Don't put your head in this bag. All right. It's a good thing they're telling us that. Yeah, it's definitely broken through the bottom of this box. And I can see why, because it's pretty heavy. Uh, a couple of handles here. They look reasonably sturdy. These are strong enough to do this. I guess we'll find out. So, looking at the instructions, there's not much there. It says I should read the entire important safety information. Anytime you're dealing with something that's going to bend things, you don't want to bend your fingers. So, I'll look through that after I pull these out and make sure that they're not damaged if I can get this out of the box. Okay, this piece is loose. Let's see if it's... And everything is covered in grease. Very heavy. Hopefully that will function well enough that we don't have to do too much modification. And then the base unit... I can get it out of there.
sure don't have to worry about it rusting in the bag. things I noticed in a lot of the videos that I looked at and you probably did too was um, a couple of the guys had this end of it was bent cocked over a bit sideways um, this is pretty heavy I'm not sure how you'd straighten that out so the handles then will obviously go in here now my issue is probably like a lot of other guys and gals um, how to mount this securely because you're going to pull this up this way to do the bend. Um, I don't want to mount this permanently to my workbench. I need to figure out a way to um, to do this, make it useful without per uh, permanently attaching it to the bench because I don't have any place other place to work on things. I need this bench open for all the other honeydews and projects that I get um, persuaded to partake in. So I'll be pulling it up like this with this bar as the stop over here. So and this normally would be screwed down to the table but I'll probably end up clamping this and then putting an extension back here so when I pull this the the, the um, clamp side will be down here and most of the torque will be up this way and back that way at least that's what it sounds like in my head I guess we'll find out so there's the unboxing that's all there is to it it's um, a base swivel part and this piece here which will go up here uh, to bend against and it's more than enough to be able to have done that right 90 degree so there it is that's the first look at this thing very greasy hopefully it's going to do what we need to do every time I get um, requested, I guess that's how I'll put it, uh, requested to, uh, to help uh, particularly my son because he's working on all these projects all over the place and they're so different. Sometimes it's computer stuff, sometimes it's uh, electrical, sometimes it's uh, physical like this, um, flooring, ceiling tiles. We had to just put some commercial ceiling tiles in. Uh, and cut them to make make them go around all this stuff so it takes a lot a lot of tools um, and if you're in a little tiny shop like this you have to consider where are you going to put these things when you're not using them um, as you've seen if you watched any of my other videos I am jammed in here really really tight I have all the screws nuts and bolts on a roll around so I can roll it out of the way so I can get to some of my other tools over here. We just had to do a bunch of uh, cutting on ceramic tile, so I had to get that thing out. You know how it is if you got a really small shop, you're constantly moving stuff around. So I'm done moving this stuff around. I'll s let you know how this goes okay. when we you knew do the I was going to have to do it. Keep this little video as short as possible. That's why if you looked at the uh, little credits in the bottom there, it says uh, first bending test. And maybe you jumped right to it and you skipped over all the unboxing uh, excitement. So first thing I noticed is the, the bending bar right here, the edges are cut on a slight angle going this way and this way. And it didn't say anything in the instructions, but I'm making an assumption, and we all know what that means, is that you want this uh, angle this way, not, not turned over so that it's coming this way because we want to contact this edge first um, as I do the bend and also uh, I'm, I imagine because it 
it's like this when you bend them by hand is there's going to be a little bit of a spring back so when you go up to 90 you really need to go just a little bit further because it's going to kind of spring back a little bit and this this uh, edge in this direction allows you to do that so I have no idea if this is going to hold this sucker is really really heavy so I've got a clamp down here right here onto the edge of my workbench and I have two of them over here simulating uh, being screwed down to the workbench and this one here I can't, I can't get um, another clamp back here so I only got one on this and the edge of my workbench has got it's got a, a piece that runs this way but nothing that goes back this way so I can't actually clamp anything back here even if I had another clamp well, long story so I've got this set up just for a test here and we're going to see what happens uh, and I hope nothing comes flying off because this thing could break your leg certainly break your foot if it comes flying off of here um, I had a little trouble setting it up because it wants to slide around till you get these clamps on here pretty tightly so here we go I've got uh, just a little mark here to show where I'm going to bend this kind of in half about half of it's back under here and half of it's out here so let's see what's going to happen here and I can see this bar lifting so I may actually have to put another clamp on here because it's lifting off the base Try it one more time. Should have had my Wheaties this morning. well it looks bent let's see what it looks like when I take it out this is uh, right around the maximum capacity according to the little instructions because this this um, stainless steel stuff is around uh, 17 18 in that range and this says it can handle up to 16 okay there's the bend and there was the mark I had for it. it looks like it's pretty close to a 90 actually a little bit over which would be okay uh, because then when we push it up against the corner of the tile um, we can get it to kind of straighten out flatten out around the corner using super super duper duper goopy ghoul glue so there was the first bend uh, and this pretty heavy stainless steel managed to do that just fine and it didn't come flying off of the workbench which is what I was really concerned about so this will work um, to do what we want it to do which is to make corner pieces this piece was a kind of piece of scrap it's got the edges are not very clean just a test now I could do this again you know and, and actually make a, a little channel so so between this uh, my my uh, cutter that I cut the stuff with I also have a slip roller so I can make really nice um, curves instead of 90s like this 
So I think I've got enough to do the kind of small projects that we uh, that we mess with that are just a pain, pain, pain to do if you don't have some of these tools. At least that's my argument. And that's my story and I'm sticking with it.